Frenzy, it's um, quite a well-known machine, but there's a few little things that I've kind of looked at recently and it means that they're not all the same. Not every VIC-20 that was produced was the same. Um, there, there seem to be differences in design and especially the case design. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look and put a few of the slight myths on the internet maybe uh, to bed and have a look at the VIC-20 against the Commodore 64 and we'll find out if the cases really are identical. Right, we've got two Commodore machines here. We've got a VIC-20 and a Commodore 64. Uh, the VIC-20 and the Commodore 64 case looks identical. The keyboards are identical. The whole machines the way the cases are made up appear to be almost identical very similar keyboards very similar coloring as well now there's been a bit of um a debate so to speak in a few other videos where they've said that the um the, the commodore 64 and the vic 20 don't share identical cases but they actually do the problem we've got is seems to have been a couple of early machines that for some reason or another don't quite share the exact dimensions but generally the VIC-20 and the Commodore 64 with the multi-pin adapter for the power supply are absolutely identical so if we take this here and we look on here we have seven centimeters we take this here and we have seven centimeters. So they're both seven centimeters in depth. In height rather, you also have just over eight inches or 20 centimeters. And you also have eight inches and 20 centimeters on both machines exactly the same now these cases are identical even right across the width at 40 centimeters on each bang on 40 on each so they are for want of a better word the same case but just different colorings and that's where the um the idea that the Commodore basically took the VIC-20 case and reused it with a different colour for the Commodore 64, which is exactly what they did. Now, if I take this VIC-20 away, and as you can see, it is the machine with the standard power supply, as we would call it. And I replace it with an earlier example with a two pin power supply now almost immediately you can see there's a different case size so again we have the seven centimeter depth and slightly over seven centimeters there but it's where you, you look at the front you have two inches or five centimeters on there and you have if you can see it just over 2.4 centimeters in depth there so every part of the machine is very, very slightly out. So you can see the, uh, the machines are ever so slightly out. And if we turn them over, So you got both the machines here and 
the positioning of um, things like the feet are a little bit out but also these grills are also very ever so slightly further back on the Commodore 64 compared to this Fit 20 and the also you've got casting marks here which are actually very different on the 64 compared to the early Vic 20. So they aren't identical. The castings mm -hmm. on this early case are identical in every way to the Commodore 64. So they did use two different cases and I'm trying to work out why because the later model um, Vic 20 is identical to the Commodore 64 in just about every way apart from obviously the port on the back of the machine. The other thing you'll notice as well is that the earlier Vic 20 the colour is slightly more darker than the later model and it's not because it needs retro brightening because it's exactly the same colour underneath as you've just seen as the rest of the case and it's also the same colour inside. The keyboard is essentially the same apart from the colours on the function keys um, which means that it is a slightly different design or colour combination than the later Vic 20s and also a slightly different colour combination to the PET, the Commodore PET that the keyboard was based on. Now it seems that they may have given the moulds out to a different manufacturer and they've kind of gone slightly over in their reproduction of the uh, of the case. So it could be a different manufacturer's um, produced the case and they've got slightly out on the case design when they're actually reproduced from maybe the original mould. But there is a difference. But in general, the um, late Vic 20 and the Commodore 64 are identical. It's just the earlier case design that isn't. Right, so I hope you enjoyed looking into the um, case design of the Commodore VIC-20 and the Commodore 64. If you liked what you've seen, please subscribe. If not, well, have a great day and I'm sure we'll um, have more content coming up very shortly in the future. So thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.